And we're back. I got a soda. <laughs> we just went to Walgreens and 7 Eleven. You're going to have to take over for a second because I need two hands to do this. Okay. Well, my name's Scott. I uh, publish a zine called Strange Tapes. I also play a character named Scott. <laughs> I play a character named Scott on the Strange Tapes train show. It's not a character. Yep. It's a character of a guy who cares. It's about a character about a guy that likes strange tapes. Mm-hmm. But um, we're here in Chicago. David came from Madison, Wisconsin. Shy to town, baby. Hang out and record. We went to Walgreens. We went to Seven Eleven. Cool guys in there. Yeah, there a, we walked in. There was a guy with a cool hat. Yep. There was another cool guy. Just a nondescript cool guy. Cadbury egg prices have gone through the fucking roof. Through the damn roof. And then um, we saw the Snoop Dogg wine. We did. And I saw books next to it, but I thought they were VHS tapes for a second. Yeah, the James I really, Patterson. If, they, if that would have been VHS tapes, I would have said, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm completely done with this bullshit. <laughs> I think it'd be cool if Walgreens had VHS tapes. What do you, What type of VHS tape do you think they would have? If they were to start carrying them again, probably in the year like uh, Space Jam and uh, I don't think crap so. like that. I guess they, they would probably make new ones, yeah, specifically for Walgreens. Yep. It'd yeah, play. that sucks. That would suck. Actually, that would be horrible. I don't know what you're talking about. That would be the worst thing on earth. <laughs> yeah, it would that would be bad? It'd be so horrible. What were you said? Uh, you saw the Snoop Dogg wine, and that oh yeah, you think of something. Yeah, it made me think that I watched the movie, the Snoop Dogg horror movie called Bones. I, I rewatched it recently. How was it? Um, not great. Yeah, I haven't seen it in a very, very long time. I hadn't either. It, I mean, it was all right. It wasn't. It was very mid range. Two and a half. Did you watch it on VHS tape? I did. I actually just found the VHS. He's a fucking purist, dude. Yeah, this guy over here. <laughs> this guy won't watch anything. That's not on VHS tape, dude. Well, that's, that's the thing. There was a time period where finding a movie on VHS was exciting because it was right. like a cheap way to watch movies. Yeah, it's and not that's, anymore. That felt almost weirdly nostalgic. I found this VHS tape for a dollar, right. and I just wanted to watch the movie. There you go. But now there's this whole uh, industry surrounding it, and there's tapes are like 30 to $1,000. Couldn't be me, brother. Yeah. Couldn't be me. What what is the? I don't want to out you on the podcast. What? But what do you think is the most money that you spent on a VHS tape in your uh, career? What, I, you know? I have splurged. I think the most I've ever spent. I don't think I've ever gone over a hundred fifty. Okay, it's not that bad. I actually, I'm, I'm positive I've never gone over that. I mean, especially considering the prices these days. That's not yeah. that crazy. And I can't. I couldn't tell you what I spent. It was probably some shot on video thing. Yeah. Um, but there's there's every once in a while something will pop up where I'm like, oh, damn it. I need that. <laughs> yeah. And that hasn't been for years. I used to have more money at one time. <laughs> Didn't we all, Scott? <laughs> I'm dying. Uh, I feel really lucky I got to the point where people just send me crap now. That is true. You're, you're in that nice sweet spot where you yeah. don't really have to. You just get packages now. People send me crap, and I, I'm very grateful for that. There it is, dude. I wish people would send me crap. I send you crap. I bring yeah, literal, you crap. literal crap, dude. You send yeah. me crap in the mail. Dude. I crap in a box and yeah. send it to you. You son of a bitch. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, VHS tapes are stupid. We're back on that. <laughs> oh, I just thought of a, a flood of things I've watched recently that are actual wow. movies. Wow. I rewatched after our last meeting. I told you I started the Joker but didn't finish it. Um, it's weird that you called it a meeting. but Our right. last meeting <laughs> of the minds. <laughs> Uh, I rewatched Minding the Gap because we were talking oh, about Oh, wow. The, the fucking Flesh Games universe fucking movie, dude. Yeah, there's crossover because Corey was Corey, it. Yeah. Corey's in it. He's a, I, apparently, I talked to him about it recently, too. He said he was supposed to be a main character, but his life is not fucked up enough. <laughs> Ooh, damn. Yeah, I, I think I spotted him, actually. Yeah. Uh, a couple times. I like think the there's. Backyard. I know there's one. He's in like the trailer too. He's like eating pizza or something, which is awesome because that's what he does. He went over a year eating pizza every day. That's 
really unhealthy. He's tight, dude. He's awesome. But That's what's awesome. funny is he's the healthy guy in Flesh Games. So <laughs> he is the healthiest guy. He can, he's like got abs, and he can like skateboard very well. Yeah, and he can like jump off of things and not die. Is he? Was he in the scenes in Mining the Gap when they're in the backyard when they're like shooting Roman candles? At I can't each other remember. I haven't seen it since it came out. Really, so I think I he remember. was. I'm sure he was. Yeah. He, he hung out with that whole crew, so I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure that, he was. It's such a good documentary, but God damn, did it ever depress me. It's I, very depressing. I, was, I forgot how I depressing it was. That's one thing I don't get about, like, the... There's, like, this fanfare in Rockford about it, which, I mean, I get it on one hand because Bing Lu is from Rockford. It's shot in Rockford. It's about Rockford. It's about people in Rockford. But it's, like, it's about how fucked up Rockford is. Yeah. So it's, like, it's weird to be, like, woohoo! And it's, like... You suck, dude. This place sucks, man. And I love it. Don't get yeah. me wrong. I love Rockford. I will always love Rockford, but it's a it's a weird. Well, it's exciting when stuff gets nationally recognized. No, of course. There, you know, so. and it's deserved. Yeah, Bing is an amazing filmmaker. It's a great. It's a great movie. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it it was so heavy. I forgot how damn yeah. heavy it was. Yeah, but I it, mean, I feel like Flesh Game should have got the Oscar nom, not Mind yeah. the Gap. But I think they me. both should have. Yeah, it should have been a double. Honestly, that would be a great. Did we mention on one of the podcasts? It would be a great double feature, I think. Yeah, a great Rockford double feature. <laughs> Although Bing Lu, just like every other person that's been successful and is in my circle, a little bit will not acknowledge me as a human being or an artist. So there you go. Your best friend, <laughs> yeah, dude. Nobody fucking respects me. Are the police outside, dude? Am I going to jail? There's some kind of activity. I don't know what it is. They're probably towing my car right now. Probably, yeah. Um, yeah, no one fucking acknowledges me as an artist or even a person, really. And <laughs> they don't respect me or anything, so. I acknowledge you, David. Well, I appreciate that. I'm here with you right now. You are the only reason that anyone has seen Flesh Games. <laughs> 100% full stop. <laughs> and I appreciate that. Well, I don't know if that's true or not. It's but 100%. I, well. Trying to help any way I can. I guess Kansas City underground probably would have played it right yeah you had some outlets yeah but, but all the fucking real guys all the canadians the they Canadian would have never guys. heard of me without you dude yeah you're international now i'm fucking international as shit brother mm -hmm. oh. international can't even afford to get fucking across this country let alone go into another country it's a big area you're covering it is that is true San Francisco. I do wish I could go to, because uh, Flash Games is also playing Terrible Fest in Toronto. I think it's the weekend before the fest in uh, San Francisco at the end of this month, but mm. I don't have, I, I would have to like re-up my passport and there's not enough time and I don't have money and yeah. it's also, fuck it. Is there a physical festival for that? Yeah. There is? Yeah, it's at, it's at that, it's like a video store. I don't know if, uh, Shout out, uh, his name's Adam, right? Adam, right at the movies, yeah, that guy. Yeah, He's awesome. I think he, like, works at or runs a video store or something called Eyesore Cinema. Oh. I think that's where they do it. Okay. As far as I've gathered, at least. Right on. But yeah, there is a, there's a, there's a physical uh, fest for it. Nice. It seems like there's some cool stuff. I'm, I'm not really familiar with a lot of stuff that's playing, but it's all, like, no budget underground stuff, so... I'm sure there's some awesome shit there is he did play uh or he told me about a short that's playing right before or right after flesh games and it's about i forget what it's called but it's about somebody that has diarrhea and every time they diarrhea they like time travel or something it sounds fucking awesome but that sounds pretty good yeah it dude. sounds in our universe yeah shitting yeah oh Oh, oh, big news. I went more than once in one day recently. Oh, my God, dude. I was actually, I was thinking about bringing this up. That's one of the things on this long drive down here. I was like, mm -hmm. should I bring up shit again? I'm always talking about shitting. About I'm always complaining up. about the fact that you only shit once a day. And You're I've always literally shit. about it. I've shit. I've been traveling most of today, and I've still shit three times already. <laughs> so, but what happened? Was You're it a, constantly were you complaining Ill? about how. Were you ill? Or was is, it. Here's the catch. I. It was because I ate, was eating very healthy that day. There we go. And it shocked my system. I had like um, all these wheat thins. I don't know <laughs> if that's healthy. <laughs> really. 
ate a, a box of uh, Triscuits. Wow. Why are you eating so many? I had a lot of fiber, type. is what I'm saying. <laughs> Why are you eating so many cracker type? Uh... David, if I knew, I would tell you. <laughs> is that all you ate? Pretty much. That's a wild ass day of eating, dude. Yeah. Wheat thins and triscuits. It was just too much. And fiber. it made you shit twice, dude. You're fucked up, dude. I know. You think I'm fucked up because I shit a lot? You're fucked up, dude. Yeah, I guess I am. Oh, I also had a a smoothie that had spinach and like that'll do it. Fiber or something or other in there. That'll do it. That's the, that's the real culprit, not the two boxes of wheat based crackers. <laughs> I fuck with. Uh, I'm too lazy right now, dude. I get I get on kicks where I'll do smoothies like every day for a month, and then I'm just like, I'm not buying spinach again. Yeah. What am I gonna go to the grocery store again? Fuck. I end up throwing out so much when I buy. I know. Because I'll make one or two smoothies, and then it's just like. It is a great delivery system for your greens, though, because I hate fucking greens for the most part. Yeah, me too. It's nice to just mash them up and put some berries in there so you don't even taste it. That's the plan. That's how I do it, too. Yep. Well, we covered the shitting. (laughs) Um, Where else? What do you... Hey, let's go back to greens for a second. Okay. Not weed, dude. (laughs) (laughs) Um, What do you... So, you don't like greens, right? For the most part, I don't. But are you like a lettuce on a burger type guy? Yeah. See, I'm not. Yeah. And it's not that I hate it. It just takes away yeah. from the burger taste, in my opinion. So I for- want to taste the burger and then what? what is, it's like useless, in my opinion, to be on a burger. For me, it depends where I'm. If it's like if I'm, we're grilling out burgers or it's a place that does like, I don't know what the term is, pub type yeah, burgers, yeah, yeah. I don't want lettuce on it. Yeah. But if I'm at Culver's okay. or something like that, I, I don't know why. I like lettuce on those yeah. types of burgers. That makes a little more sense, I guess, because the meat is like less substantial in that situation. So it's more of like a combo type thing. Yeah. But when it's like, a, like you said, like a pub stuff, it's just like, what do I want this little fucking piece of shitty lettuce on? Yeah, like, no, no. It's just making it weird, dude. Mm-hmm. That's all it's doing. It does get in the way of the, yeah. the meat. And, yeah. Yeah. But I'm also I fuck when it comes to like burgers and like pizza I eat like a fucking baby dude. I go <laughs> fucking plain bur cheese ketchup dude. That's my perfect burger. Yeah. Wouldn't it be funny if that's what I said for that's my perfect pizza cheese and ketchup? <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm, my my favorite pizza is just cheese. I just love cheese pizza. There's nothing wrong with that. My favorite. What's your favorite pizza? I'm in going- the world. If you if it was like. You know, your death row, but specifically pizza. Like, this is the last fucking pizza you're ever going to have in the world. Place or type of pizza? Let's do both. Well. I know, it's a, it's a tough question. Excuse dude. me. I belched. You're going to barf all over the place? What if I did just barf? It would be fucking man. sick, dude. The nerves of trying to <laughs> You're like, oh my out. God, I can't fucking think of it. I like sausage. Okay. Sausage and green pepper is my usual go-to, or Disgusting. or just pepperoni. It's oh, I thought you were going to say just peppers. Also, I was literally about to lunge after that. <laughs> dude. Yeah, dude, that- I fucking hate green pepper. I hate my two least favorite pizza toppings are green uh, green peppers and onions. Oh yeah, well go fuck yourself because I love both. Horrible, of those. dude. <laughs> Hor- if you if there's a fucking onion on my pizza, I will not eat it. Okay. Most other toppings, if I don't like them, I'll either just eat it or I'll like pick it off or something. That's how I am with black olives. I will not do it. I, if there's onion on it, I'm not eating it, bitch. Yeah. If it's I get disgusting. black olive juice on anything, I, I lose my mind. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. I'm kind of the same way about pickles, too. I'm not a pickle guy. I'm sort of in between. I don't like, I don't like, they're disgusting. Mm-hmm. And I hate that there's like juice involved. So like, oh, yeah. then I have to be annoying, especially with like burgers you know, they'll put a pickle, a spear pickle on the side. Yeah. And it's like a normal person, even if they don't like pickles, would just deal with it, Mm -hmm. take it off. But dude, the juice soaks into the bun, soaks into the fries, ruins everything, dude. And then I'm just tasting pickle on every fucking bite of everything. It's horrible. It's gross. Disgusting, dude. I hate pickles. I feel you on that. Hate pickles, hate onions. What are some movies about pickles? I don't know if there is one. Is there any movie reference to pickles you can think of? I can think of a fa- a Family Guy reference, to, but I guess that's probably true for almost everything yeah. on this earth. But pickle Rick a, from Rick and Morty, I 
There's that. I see people wearing ICP dude. slippers and stuff that have pickle Rick on them. <clears throat> no, Family Guy. There's a there's a part where Stewie goes, "For every pickle I find on this, I will kill you." And I think that's a funny quote, dude. We should make T-shirts that have Stewie <laughs> saying that on. They it. probably exist, but we could make bootlegs. Yeah, bootleg Stewie gear. How do is my you next feel move. about Family Guy? I like it. It's awesome, dude. I think it's funny. It's like it's it's that weird thing where. It came out, it was really funny, yeah. and then for some reason it got played out or something, and people were like, that's not funny, and it sucks, and it's stupid. Mm. But then I feel like now people are like, no, it's funny. It's actually yeah. really funny. Yeah, I, I, I think I briefly stopped. It's not like I, I didn't like it anymore. I just kind of didn't know that they were still making it. Then I rediscovered right. that they were, and I I watched it, and I thought it was still funny. And it's very funny. Yeah. It's so random, dude. <laughs> it's so random. It is so random. No, it is. It's funny, dude. And that's funny, dude. Saying for every pickle I find, I'll kill you. That's far, that's a funny ass line. Dude. That's a really funny line, and that's something that I would say because I'm twisted and I hate pickles. You're like the Stewie Griffin of. <laughs> I have the same size head. I think. <laughs> I have a big ass head, dude. You know me what too. pisses me off, dude? I know we got. Have we mentioned it that we shop at BigHatStore.com? We haven't actually on the podcast thing. Well, that's a fun fact that we found out accidentally about each other, that yep. we both shop at a website called BigHatStore.com <laughs> because we have massive fucking heads. Just huge, like, Midwestern <laughs> And I know everybody's heads. thinking. You're talking over me. <laughs> everybody thinks, sorry, everybody thinks that, you know, you have a big head. Well, we got one in the store for you. No, you don't, okay? Mm-hmm. You don't have one. We need the specific website. Yeah, that's true. One size fit all fits all is not the case a lot of the times. Listen, lids, you don't have what I want. Okay, I got laughed out of a lids one time. <laughs> Dude, I just hate going to a place like that because they're like, "What size are you?" We definitely got something for you. And it's like, no, you don't. No, you don't. You literally don't. Well, you know that Quad City River Bandits hat that I wore on yeah. the last one or two episodes ago or whatever. I was shocked to see that like. Some of the online stores are starting to do fitted fitted caps with in giant, Huge. enormous <laughs> alien head sizes. <laughs> yeah, they'll have like one, one of the whatever it is. I don't even want to say it's so embarrassing. I don't even know what the technical. I don't even know what the size is because I, I just I only shop at BigHatStore dot com, so it's like three x four x or whatever two x through four x. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. So I don't know what the measurement is technically. I've never looked it up because I don't even. Yeah. I don't even want to know what the fucking... I think we talked about this before, but on the BigHatStore.com, it's a lot of... It's like the Bears, the Packers, Notre Dame, like all the biggest head sports fans. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, yeah. The most giant Midwestern... Yeah, they have like a we- they have a section of like weird sporting stuff. I always yeah. go for the plane. Like this one, this uh, camo is from Big Hat Store. Oh, very nice. I just get the plane fucking, and I get I have like five of these, and five, I just get them because I wear them all the time. And like in the summer, they're just drenched with sweat and fucking. <laughs> and then yeah. I'll wash them in the sink or whatever, and it's just they get disgusting. Oh, dude, I have some really disgusting ones. Yeah, they're so like- I just because I also have this fear that. There's not enough big heads in the world that BigHatStore.com will shut down someday. <laughs> so I'm like, I need to stock up just in case. <laughs> That's legit. I relate to that. <laughs> Even though, I mean, I I bet there's another store somewhere that does yeah, it. Yeah, I think there is another one. I just found the one and stuck with it. So sponsored by BigHatStore.com. Honestly, we should reach out. Yeah, we should. That's a great idea. Let's do it. That's a great idea. All right. Um, mental note, reach out to big hat store.com for a sponsorship. Even if it's like, I don't even need anything from you. Just let me put the logo somewhere. Mm-hmm. I want to represent. I mean, if you'll give me some hats, that's cool too, but yeah, let's reach out. Hey, are there any, uh, movie references to big heads you can think of? Oh, I got one. Stewie Griffin. <laughs> Stewie <got a> <laughs> Griffin. Yeah. Is there a, there's a family guy movie, isn't there? There's like a I'm star sure. Wars yeah, 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 family yeah. guy yeah. thing. That's a movie. That's a movie. So we're talking about movies, dude. <laughs> Cinema. Um, I posted some new headshots of mine on the internet. I don't know if you saw those. But... Oh, you you should just move to L.A. already. <laughs> Fancy uh, headshots. Well, it's for like the guy that I get most of my editing work from. He wanted he wanted me to get. I didn't care about that. He just wanted. No, but they look uh, good. You look he good. sent them to me. But yeah, uh, immediately 
some people are like, look at that big ass fucking head. Look at that giant head. That hat's hanging on for dear life. It's like, <laughs> fuck you, dude. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah. I don't remember where I heard this. It was maybe some like 80s or 90s stand up thing where they were talking about guys with big heads shouldn't wear hats because it's like, it's like putting a glitter on a zit. It just like draws attention <laughs> yeah. to how huge your head That's is. It's kind of true. I feel like I get certain, like this hat I think looks pretty good. Like there's some hats where it fits fine, but it just looks like it doesn't. It's like about to pop off, but it's yeah. not. It fits perfectly fine. I don't know. Yeah. What? I ended up buying two hats from whatever these baseball hat stores were. Yeah. And the first one I was a little off. It was like an Atlanta Braves hat. And it's like just slightly too small. And it really looks too small. Just <laughs> yeah. It just looks like I'm forcing it on when I wear it. It's embarrassing. But there is times where even the ones that do fit well, if like the wind hits me just right, it'll it'll fucking <laughs> pop it off <laughs> i've definitely i've been like driving before and had the window down and it just like goes yeah. to the back seat yep but we should make a movie about guys with big heads we should i feel like that's what i do but yeah that is true yeah, yeah there, there's some big head well no i think i have a very big head mm-hmm. like i know people with big heads and mine is way bigger yeah it's fucked up dude my whole family's got big heads. Yeah, I don't have a family, but yeah, <laughs> they're all dead. Oh, uh, you know, you know, another movie, Coneheads. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a big head movie. Yeah, it's a big head movie. It's but a it's different, yeah, it's a different, heads. it's a different type of big head. I love Coneheads. I love any SNL universe movie. Really, love. Do you like SNL? No, not anymore. <laughs> but I used to. I used to absolute. Actually, that's my er, some of my earliest VHS stuff was. I have all these tapes that my parents have uh, religiously recording SNL stuff. That's, that's wild. Yeah. I have tons of like, and it would be just stuff that I thought was funny. Yeah. Or that I thought was going to be funny. Well, I, I definitely. Norm stuff I taped oh, when yeah, I was like a yeah. little kid. I would tape yeah. Norm McDonald. Um, I definitely liked it more when I was younger, but I was never like a huge SNL fan. It took a huge nose, nose dive in like oh, the yeah. mid 2000s or something. Right. But even so, I feel like even, I mean, maybe you're more familiar with it, but I feel like I could even go back now to like the better stuff and it's not great in my opinion. I mean, there's great stuff, yeah. but like overall, I don't think it's like a great, but then again, you know, it's the, it's every week. It's like, how do you fucking, yeah. How do you do a full, they're pumping it out. Yeah. They're pumping it out. I think there's some really funny old sketches and how did you feel about uh, mad TV? I actually didn't mind it. I liked it. When it first came out, I was really pumped on it. Yeah. But I yeah. kind of just drifted off from it. I don't remember. I def- there was definitely a few years where I was, when I was a kid, I was doing the like, was Mad TV first? It was on first, right? Yeah, then, it was on at 10, at, yeah. 10 p.m. and then SNL was at 10.30. So I would like start Mad TV and then switch over. Yeah, to, I would too. Yeah. Those were the days, dude. Yeah. I'm still, I like, I'm a big uh I like Bobby Lee a lot. I think he's very funny. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought he was funny on Mad TV as well. Um, I can't really remember. There's that one guy that did the Stuart character. That's about it. I can't remember. I don't remember what his else. name is. Yeah, Stuart. There is the terrible Asian lady impression yep. Yep. lady. Who was, wasn't she a Jewish woman in real life? Yeah, Alex Bornstein, who does <laughs> yeah. the voice of Lois on Family Guy. There we go, dude. It all comes back to Family Guy, brother. Mm-hmm. That great movie, Family Guy. <laughs> the, the great cinema, a piece of cinem- cinematic art. Um, the Conads movie is great. It's Pat is great. Although, you, I, no, it's not great. It's terrible. Because What about Night at the Roxbury? Great. Great. Uh, I haven't seen it in a long time, but I did love it. It's Pat. Is, great VHS is prob- box, by the way. Problematic nowadays. Of course. I mean, but um, if I were to be completely honest, it does make me laugh sometimes. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Um... Wayne's World, Wayne's yeah, that is true. I guess, I guess you some that has like eclipsed it being an SNL thing. So it people, transcended. People, yeah, people don't really think of it as a SNL property, but it mm-hmm. is. Wayne's yeah. World is fucking great, dude. I love Wayne's World. I do too. And uh, they were supposed to be from Aurora, Illinois. Aurora. And the uh, somebody honked. The spindle mm-hmm. was in uh, Berwyn. Yeah, Berwyn. Didn't they get taken down? 
I don't think it's there anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when I was in a band when I was in uh, college, maybe, or maybe it was right before college or whatever. We played a show in Berwyn, and we uh, stopped at the Spindle and took a picture before. Nice. You know, with a big Berwyn reference? Berwyn. No. Sven Gulli. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out Sven Gulli. Shout out Sven Gulli. Shout out David the Rock Nelson. They're both my neighbors. They live in this building. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And They're actually about to be on the show right now. I'd like to welcome to the show with Sven Gulli. Sven Gulli. Mm-hmm. Have you ever met Sven Gulli? Yeah, he would always be at um, Flashback Weekend. Flashback, yeah. We saw him get out of a Subaru Outback one time. Hell yeah. And we were like, his spooky Subaru <laughs> Outback. And uh, there was, I didn't. I, I really turned a corner on horror hosts. There was a while where I was like, this is kind of lame. It didn't really, I was really into the twisted movies in my twenties and I like slashers and things like that. So I thought it was kind of a little, uh, lame, but then I, I came around to it. I really enjoy Sven Gulli now. I think I like the idea of it more than the actual yeah. thing, but it's so corny, but I love his parts. I, I I do get to a little depressed watching it because it's it's programming programming clearly meant for like baby boomer age people. Yeah. And if I'm at home on a Saturday night watching Sven Gulli and it's yep. all these ads for like Cialis. If you fall down the stairs, press this thing or yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know, Cialis and heart stuff and whatever and mash rerun commercials. Yeah, you get pretty sad. <laughs> yeah. And also a lot of those black and white British movies, I can't watch. Yeah. Can't. Yeah, see, that's what I mean is like, and even... Even if it's horror, I don't care. It's just so boring. Yeah. A lot of it is just not my vibe, so... The hammer horror, any of that. I mean, I know people love that, but... Yeah. Let's talk about something we do like. Soda. Soda. Did you like that every time I set the mic down to get it, I drink it like a baby is drinking a <laughs> bottle of milk? <laughs> like a nursing calf when you drink it. It's that. just kind of, it, they, they make, these ones are weirder shaped because it's like wider. It's kind of hard. I don't mm-hmm. know. Maybe I can do it one handed. I'm going to refrain from making any jokes about how much soda you drink. Was it, what kind of joke would you make? What's oh, so fucking know. funny about I don't know. Maybe about. A concern about the quantity. Well, how is it a concern, dude? It's diet soda. No, I said I'm not gonna make the joke. Yeah, but if you were, what was it gonna well, say? It, dude. I said I'm not gonna <laughs> do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love soda. Okay, and guess what? I got another one that's in the car right now. I I'm gonna drink it. all of it, dude. I support it. You don't drink alcohol. I don't, I don't drink alcohol. We both are addicted to caffeine. Yeah, I don't. I don't really see the reason I drink. See, you fucking are down in the coffees, dude. I don't do coffee. I'll tell you when I've had enough. <laughs> I don't do coffee right now in my life. Mm. So I just double up on the soda. See my sweet Jerry Springer mug? That's tight, dude. Two out for Did you get that from Jerry Springer himself? Yeah, he hand delivered it. You know, so he awesome used to live in peace. the Hancock building. Did he? Downtown where Chris Farley from SNL died. Oh, wow. And there's a Cheesecake Factory in the basement at all it, everything is cyclical dude yeah we saw a $500 gift card for Cheesecake Factory at Walgreens well to be fair it was twenty two five hundred dollars but yeah of course I only saw the $500 I would love a $500 gift card for Cheesecake Factory me too that would last two weeks <laughs> for me I fucking love Cheesecake Factory dude it's pretty good it's so good um, their menu is vast dude <laughs> They're, they have every. They have, they have a bur- one of my favorite. My favorite meal there is the mac and cheese burger. Oh, have you ever had that? No, it's just a regular pub style burger. Mm-hmm. But it's got a fried mac and cheese patty on top oh, of it. Now we're talking. It rocks, dude. Now we're talking. It's like twenty dollars, but <laughs> it rocks. And then they also have like as an appetizer, they have fried mac and cheese balls. Okay, they come with like a marinara red sauce type thing. Oh, damn. Mamma Mia. Yeah, the, for some reason, the only thing I can remember is an app from their... Um, cheesecake? Yeah, it was like this cake, but it had like a <laughs> consistency of kind of a cheese, like a dense cheese. I do fuck with cheesecake. Dude. I love cheesecake, it's too. It's so good. Oh, no, but there's this app that were... They were like avocado um, 
egg rolls or something? Or oh, okay. Rolls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got all types of weird, like, egg roll type. Yeah, they were good. I'm sure they were awesome. I wish I had a $500 gift card to Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, if anybody, you know, wants to give us a $500 gift card to Cheesecake Factory. Mm-hmm. Each, by the way, not just one. Or one. 500 500 Yeah. We they also have, hey, guess what? They also have orange chicken. Damn. And it's good, dude. That sounds good. It's not like your typical, it's like, it's fancier. Damn. It's good. Damn. It's like not the like weird, because you know, like most Chinese places, you'll just get, it's just obviously like a frozen fried chicken yeah. dumped in with that weird orange shit. What do you think about Panda Express's orange chicken? It's the best. Or, did you know that they it's invented awesome. orange chicken? Panda Express did? I'm almost positive. No. Look it up, dude. No. Look it up, dude. No. Look it up. I I would look it up, but my phone Dave, is David, I want you to be right. I really want you to be I'm right. I'm pretty sure <laughs> I'm pretty sure that orange chicken is not like a Chinese invention. It no, is no. a fucking California it is a Pasadena, California fucking invention. I believe that. Um which is where the uh test kitchen is for Panda Express. Yeah. And the original Panda Express. I get down with Panda Express. It rocks, dude. I don't care. And did you know that in some locations, like the test kitchen, and it's either in Pasadena or Los Angeles, I can't remember, they have, every once in a while they have a burrito. What? With Chinese food in it? Yeah. You can just get, you just get <laughs> orange chicken and you can get like an egg roll in there. Dude. And just roll it up in a fucking tortilla. What? <laughs> yeah, dude. That's crazy. That's fucking tight, dude. You know what was a big surprise to me? I used to work at, when I, when I worked at this tile place uh, in the South Loop or near South Side. Um, there's a Panda Express. Oh, block. Yeah. So we'd go to eat at Panda Express for lunch sometimes. And that was right on the edge of Chinatown. Hell yeah. And Chinese people actually like Panda Express. Yeah. Because it's like a lot. Good dude. <laughs> I can't speak for, I'm not speaking for them at all really, but I noticed that yeah, there were actual people yeah, from yeah. Chinatown going to Panda Express. But I feel like they weren't going there to be like, I'm getting Chinese food. They were like, I'm going to get this weird yeah fast food thing that tastes awesome yeah probably oh also one time i saw a chinese guy watching porn in there that's awesome yeah. that's, what a day dude yeah. what a day yep i might have to hit up a china uh fucking panda express and watch some porn after this dude that's a day you want to know what's fucked up about madison wisconsin what no no panda express oh really yeah unbelievable i found that very hard to believe the closest one i believe well there might be one in milwaukee but the closest one i know of is in janesville how, how does janesville get a fucking panda express is it right off the interstate yeah yeah i think i saw yeah. the sign how does janesville wisconsin get a fucking panda express but not beautiful madison wisconsin life's not fair sometimes capital the capital city it's just not fair sometimes. it's not fucking fair dude yeah I love Panda Express. Yeah, it's awesome. That you shit ever, is crazy tasting, dude. You ever had the firecracker shrimp? No, I literally will not get anything other than the fucking orange chicken from there. It's a safe bet. I cannot. I cannot. I've thought about it, but then I'm just like, I got to get the fucking orange chicken. Dude. Getting shrimp or any seafood from a chain is kind of a, a roll weird. of the dice. It is. It is. Yeah. You know what my favorite thing to do? Well, not my favorite thing to do, but in the context of this conversation, my favorite thing to do mm. is to go to a Chinese buffet because everything is a roll of the dice, I feel like. Oh, yeah. It's all, there's just a bunch of weird meats sitting out for like, hours, dude. You're speaking my language. <laughs> but I love it, dude. It's we, disgusting, we but I love it. We gotta do one of these live from a China buffet. That would be so fucking tight. Let's do dude. it. We should. We'll have to get, I'll, I'll get some lav mics so we don't have to hold them. We'll just yeah. clip them up and then just... <laughs> just chewing right yeah. into them dude i love it because it's like you'll get like uh beef and broccoli mm. or chicken and broccoli it's like extremely room temperature yeah there's definitely e coli growing on <laughs> it <laughs> but i thought the the pandemic might have crushed the china buffets but the one in freeport's open now no they're all they're back dude yeah they're back i believe that i also went to some during the pandemic so yeah <laughs> yeah because I, Wisconsin. Kind of, i don't know how different it was here in chi town baby but Wisconsin did not give a fuck. So, yeah, that's what I heard. So I'm pretty sure that I was just at the Chinese buffet. It was pretty locked down here. But yeah. you know what the most questionable China buffet I've ever been to was? You, you really can't go to them in the city because they're going to be – they're very, they're almost too questionable. Yeah. the one uh, There's one over here on Addison and like Elston. I think it's closed now. Actually, I think it's a uh, – what's the – chicken place that uh kfc no popeyes no 
Chick fil A. Chick fil A. It's I Chick fil A now. Chick fil A, dude. Yeah. Is it because you hate Christians? <laughs> you anti Christian? <laughs> No, I just don't think it's that good, dude. Yeah, me neither. Though the ba- my favorite thing, sorry to cut you off, but my oh, favorite thing from there is the grilled nuggets. Oh, but they they cost fifty thousand dollars. You so. sure your favorite thing in there isn't the homophobia, David? <laughs> yeah. No, I don't really. I don't fuck with them, dude. I don't fuck yeah. with Chick Fil A. It's not that great. I honestly kind of don't get because that's another thing. When we were driving around, when I worked at that place, it was like Chick Fil A's were just coming up in chicago or something yeah yeah people love them yeah the lines the drive through was out onto the street it oh, yeah. was just nuts i never got it dude when i went to uh i went to school at siu in carbondale shout out joe swamber friend of the podcast steve james steve james uh Close macho man randy savage uh he didn't graduate but he went there yeah rest in peace uh i think that's it close uh, personal friends. uh hannibal burris Oh, really? Went there. Yeah, I think he also didn't graduate, but he was there. He started comedy in Carbondale. That's awesome. Um, what was I saying? Oh, in the student center, there was a Chick-fil-A. And that was, like, before they had popped up everywhere. And, like, I had heard people, like, because I think maybe it started in the South. Maybe? It did, yeah. Yeah. So, like, I knew some people, like, from the South, and they were like, oh, Chick-fil-A is the best. Dude, I miss Chick-fil-A. So I got it when I was there. I was like, yeah, it's fine, dude. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay, yeah. It's okay. It slowly made its way up. The first place I ever had it was Indiana in like the mid, early 2000s, mid 2000s. Yeah. Yeah. It was in the Indianapolis area and long before we got Which it. Which we'll be there. back at probably. Dead formats. Dead formats. Yeah. And maybe the Chick fil A that he's talking about. We'll see. Hey, we might just tour Chick fil A's. Yeah. We'll sell tapes out of Chick fil A's, dude. That's a great idea. That is a great idea. That's a really good idea. <laughs> Um, how do you feel uh, not, not to get off or uh, to stay on the chicken train? Uh-huh. Um, how do you feel about Raisin Cane's? Oh, it's good. I love. I like Raisin Cane's. I a lot. like that place. Yeah. People have been hyping it up, and then someone told me it was crap, and then I would tried it for myself. I'm like, I love it. I was skeptical, but then I tried it, and I was like, this is pretty tight. Dude. I even like the little piece of white bread. Oh, they the do bread there. is awesome. Dude. So good. I remember uh, my buddy Kyle. We he went. I think when we were going to Cinema Wasteland, there was a, a fucking Raisin Cane somewhere, and we went to Raisin Cane's, and I don't think he had ever been there. And he, like, left his bread. He, like, ate everything. I was like, you got to try dip it in the fucking sauce yeah. and eat it. And he was like, I just, I'm not, like, a bread guy. Yeah. And I'm like, first of all, shut the fuck up. Okay. Right. Everyone's a bread guy. All right. Mm-hmm. Especially people that look like us. We're bread guys. Okay. Sure. Um, but he dipped it, and he ate it. It was like, oh. And I was like, yeah, dude, it's fucking awesome, dude. That's the com- I don't know what they do, but it's fucking awesome. That's the communion wafer right there. Fuck yeah, dude. Where you're officially a caniac. Have you have you been there like multiple times in your life? Two, three times yeah, maybe. Because, yeah. you know, at a certain point you can, because don't they have, do they have coleslaw? Yeah, I think so. You can switch out the coleslaw for another piece of bread. Nice. Stuff, there's little tricks like that. Oh, you're that a you veteran. Gotta, Fuck you're yeah, a true caniac. Fuck yeah, dude. I am a caniac. Yeah. I also want to try, apparently, I don't know if it's on the menu, but you can get naked tenders, so it's a little bit healthier, because I'm like, I'm a health guy. Dude. Practically health food. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, just to tie this back to cinema, there's a movie called Chicken Run. Okay, let's go back to talking uh, <laughs> fast food. There's a, yeah, Raisin Cane's opened maybe two, two, three years ago in Madison, but they opened, it's so annoying. It's literally on State Street. Mm. And it's like, so if I, I mean, it makes sense for all the college kids, right? but if I want to go there, I have to park in a parking garage and like walk to yeah. the, it's like, this sucks, dude. Super inconvenient. Yeah. Oh man. Is yeah, there any movies about Colonel Sanders? I don't know. If there are, I feel like oh, he's, he's racist in it probably. <laughs> <laughs> he has that little racist tie that yeah, kind right, of looks yeah. racist. He, I don't know every, why. There's, just, there's a vibe, dude. Yeah. But wasn't I guess there was a couple years ago. Remember, there was some viral fake, um, like Lifetime Colonel Sanders movie thing that came out. I don't know what that is, but it sounds awesome. No, yeah they they were clearly aware of how you know goofy and bad it was going to be, and on purpose just to build up buzz, they made this. I don't know if they made a whole feature, but I forgot who was in it. it. Was it was like the Colonel Sanders story, and it was supposed to be like a melodrama type thing. Hell yeah, dude. But uh, I'm probably getting a lot of those facts wrong. And How do you feel about KFC buffets? Brother, <laughs> let me Brother. tell you. I, uh, I came from a town, Freeport, Illinois, that Freeport, had Illinois. KFC buffet. Not only 
are were the buffets rare when they were a thing mm-hmm. they've become even more i think there's like four yeah left ever i've told people not from the midwest or not from illinois about kfc buffet and their jaws hit the floor dude it's incredible yeah there was one i don't know if it still exists but there was one in plover wisconsin which was like a 30 minutes away from where my parents moved like after my mom retired and stuff and we would go there we literally went there on like christmas eve one year <laughs> dude it was fucking awesome incredible yeah we, i used to go to the one i used to skate skateboard at this bank that was it butted up against the back of a kfc and me and my dirt bag skate friends would go in and buy one plate from the buffet oh hell yeah and then we'd keep going back up yeah. and like you know totally just being dirt not bag cool, little kids dude. yeah not cool would i do that now yes as the upstanding citizen that i am yes no. yes you would maybe and we're going to if we ever find a kfc buffet we will be sharing one plate god that'd be so sad <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, dude. Oh, by the way, KFC. Sorry to say, dipped in quality. Did it? I haven't had it in a while. Big time. In the pandemic, me and Brian got really into KFC because they had that. Uh, they had that like it was like some bucket for like thirty bucks. It was like yeah. a bunch of fucking tenders. Or I got tenders. He got the other shit because he's fucking stupid. Yeah. But uh, you get that and like a bunch of fucking mashed potatoes and shit, and we would just get it delivered. All the time. So we got really into that. But other than that, I haven't had it in a while. Yeah. I think that's when I had it the last time, too, was around then. But when I moved to this area, there's a KFC just two or three blocks away. And I was like, oh, man, I can't have, haven't had KFC in years. And I tried it. And it was like, there were weird, like, little robin pigeon rat leg things. It was barely breaded. It was the worst meal I've ever had. Like Ever? It, not. I mean, in recent memory the worst fast food i've had that's horrible dude. for sure it's horrible news then there's a popeyes right up here that just blows it out of the water of course dude popeyes rules popeyes is awesome it's so damn good i wish you could like combine the two because yeah. i want the mashed potatoes and gravy from kfc 100 like percent slaw from kfc i like that too yeah i'm not a huge slaw head but Me neither it's but pretty good there i don't know what it is it's kind of um, like gross sweet yeah but oh, yeah i oh, like yeah. it for some reason my dad used to eat he would like we would get like big family meals or whatever, and he would eat all of the coleslaw himself. He would just fucking <laughs> shovel it into his mouth, and he's dead now. But that's beside the point. <laughs> um, but I wish that I mean I could simply go to KFC and Popeyes to create this, but yeah. I want the mashed potatoes and gravy from KFC, and I want the chicken from Popeyes. Yeah, I think I would take the bit. Honestly, I just want the chicken from Popeyes. The I'll chicken. take everything else from KFC. I love the biscuits from Popeyes. Really? Mm -hmm. I go biscuits KFC over Popeyes. Well, <laughs> I guess we just don't see eye to eye on the biscuits. <laughs> I don't think we do. I don't dislike the ones in, at Popeyes, but um, have there ever, is that meme about it that they're like so dry that if Popeyes biscuits, yeah, you'll like die if you don't have something to drink. <laughs> so, yeah, that might be every biscuit though. That's true. And the art of cinema. I love cinema. <laughs> Is there any movies about fried chicken? Not chicken. Not just chicken. Just fried chicken. I can't think of anything. Oh, Kentucky, Kentucky fried, fried movie. movie. Yeah, there we go. Wow. We got it. We got it. We're on such the same wavelength. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, Fuck yes, dude. There's that movie, uh, Chicken Run. You ever hear um, this? Chicken Run. Yep. Yeah. Amazing uh, rat race. Rat race. I don't know why Chicken Run. That just made me think of Rat Race and how that that's a sick ass. That's a sick rat ass. Rat race movie. is awesome. It's fucking tight, dude. <laughs> there was a when I was in film school. I wasn't in this class, but one of my buddies was in a screenwriting class, and someone for a project wrote a sequel to Rat Race. Nice. It's just fucking awesome. That's hilarious. It's so awesome to go to film school and be like, "This is what I want to make." <laughs> <laughs> that's incredible. Oh, fuck, dude. There's some great lines in that movie. I need to rewatch it. I haven't seen it in a long time, but I remember it being remember tight. The, the kid, uh, there's like a like John Lovis's family. The kid has to, to take a crap when they're champagne. They're, what? Sorry. <laughs> and she's like, "I'm prairie dogging it." <laughs> That's all I really remember about Rat Hell Race. Yeah, Mr. Bean's in it. Hell yeah. Yeah. Do you ever see the other, like the Mr. Bean feature length movie? No. Uh, I, 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 I know of the man, but I've never, I don't think I've ever watched He's a comic movie. genius in my mind. Yeah. My, my grandpa loved him. I don't know why. My grandpa was just like, 
<laughs> this is it, dude. This and is comedy. My grandpa had been to the th- movie theater three times in his entire life, and one of them was to go see Mr. Bean That's with me. That's fucking tight. Don't yeah. have only gone to the theater three times yeah. in your entire life. He hated it. I think I'm starting to become him. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he loved Mr. Bean. He was. We were at. We were in the Quad Cities. It was somewhere outside of Moline, I think, where we watched the Mr. Bean movie together. Mm-hmm. And he was like hyperventilating, <laughs> laughing, and he barely laughed. He was like a World War II veteran yeah, yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the sight of Mr. Bean had him like turning purple. <laughs> That's like. so funny, dude. He's like one of those old guys that generation that will never express emotions no, ever. But he's Mr. Bean literally told me stories of the last breaths of like a Nazi he choked to death, uh, and, and he's like straight faced. Yeah, and then he sees Mr. Bean. Just and he can't take it. <laughs> sees Mr. Bean. He cannot take it. <laughs> he, he loses his mind over oh, Mr. Bean. Shit, that is fucking. That's rich. Yeah, I mean, that's he is pretty rich. funny. Yeah, I. That's something we did see eye to eye on. Yeah, you know, Mr. Bean. I've yeah, I've never, uh, I've never delved into the Mr. Mr. Beaniverse. So, get on it. Should I? Should I actually do? Yeah. It? I, I feel think, like uh, I feel come like to think of it, it's my favorite movie of all time. <laughs> I feel like it's too wacky for my taste, brother. You haven't lived. <laughs> I just, you know, I like funny stuff and I like some wacky stuff, but that's not like you know, more of a twisted type guy. Yeah, David, we know. I'm more of a the Dark Knight type guy. Dude. Well, you're more of a well, Joaquin Phoenix and the Joker. Yeah, I do. Did you see? Do you like the Dark Knight? I, saw, I think I did see that in the theater, actually. I saw it in the theater. It was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I don't mind that movie. It's not It's not bad. Um, all those movies are too long. True. I, you know what? All movies are too long. But I feel like those movies in particular, I feel like if you watch them now, they end like five times. Yeah. It's like, uh, this is definitely the end. And then it's like, nope. This is definitely the end. Nope. Mm-hmm. I mean, Heath Ledger was great, dude. Yeah. So, like... Total dreamboat, too. Wow, you so serious. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that shit rocks, dude. Is he your favorite Joker? Uh, he's pretty good, dude. Yeah. I don't really like the Joker. Yeah, you do. I mean, I do, but... This... I like the I, I like the character of the Joker, but like I don't really care about... My world is going to crumble if I don't <laughs> think that you love the Joker. I mean, do you love the Joker? Not really, but I want you to love the Joker. <laughs> Again, I like the idea of the Joker, like... I think if I were 12 now, I would definitely have a Joker poster in my yeah. room. I'd probably have like one of those posters that's like, it's like all the people that have played the Joker. They're like sitting at a table together. Like, oh, the, I would have like that. I might get that for this place. <laughs> that would be fucking awesome. Have you ever seen the one? There's like an, actually, it wasn't even an Italian restaurant. It was just a diner that we used to go to. It was called the Hollywood Grill. Hell yeah. That's where movies are made. Yes. Hollywood. Is this, is this in Chicago? It's Illinois? in Chicago. It's not in Hollywood, but it's called the Hollywood Grill, and they had one of those uh, paintings similar, but it had all the Italian American actors. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, where it was, you know, the guys from The Godfather, The Sopranos guys, yeah. And then it, they always have to throw in um, Tony Montana, <laughs> Scarface, who is not Italian, not Italian, and <laughs> but yeah, it makes sense somehow and I think world. uh I think when I was a kid when I actually was like 10 to 10 to 12 years old mm-hmm. the, the version of like the Joker poster in a room was the Scarface poster in the mm-hmm. room like back then yeah that's what you would have you would yeah. have the Scarface poster for sure <laughs> Scarface was how do you feel about the the film Scarface I kind of like it it's pretty tight yeah <laughs> I need I'm to rewatch it again I feel like it's way too long, but it, that was a two VHS right. movie. Yep, I had the VHS. The double. Well, I don't know. It's funny. I think the only version that I own of it is a DVD that's full screen. Really? <laughs> yeah. Because my dad, when we first started getting DVDs, he insisted that we get full. Because it was that yeah. it was that meme of like. He didn't understand that you're actually missing stuff on the sides. Mm-hmm. He thought you were missing, st- like when it was letterboxed, you were missing the stuff yeah. on the top and the bottom. <laughs> what a dumb idiot. Rest in peace. <laughs> he would eat a 
giant tub of coleslaw on yeah, watch well, the well, widescreen version no the full screen. the full screen version <laughs> yeah. sorry of uh, scarface no i literally have like four or five full screen dvds that i can't do anything i'm gonna just have to donate them at some point yeah because i've like try i'll like try to sneak them in every time i'm like selling <laughs> old movies or something no and they're like them. i don't fucking want this no dude. one wants them yeah yeah there are movies like scarface and like boondock saints and things like that where, where when you're like 13 you're just like, this fucking rules. This fucks, dude. This is so... And then when you turn 14, you're like, this is the <laughs> dumbest fucking yeah, thing dude. I've ever... Yeah. I uh, think uh, maybe I was, pretty soon maybe I'll do a double feature on my... Maybe before we record again, I'll do a double feature of Scarface and The Joker. And Mr. Bean. And Mr. A triple feature. <laughs> yeah, and Mr. Bean. <laughs> dude, that would be a... Awesome triple. Feature. We should honestly, we should start programming stuff around here. Dude. Yeah, it should be Scarface, the Joker, Mister Bean, or should Mister Bean be in between the two? Yeah, I think it should be in between. A little a nice little relief. bean sandwich, if yeah. you will. <laughs> comic relief. Uh, that's a great idea. Let's, let's do that. Let's do it. Let's I, just program it for ourselves. Yeah. Maybe next time we can watch. That's true. Those movies. Let's do it. Yeah. Next time. Next time when you're not swamped with work, I'll come in a little early. We'll yeah. watch those movies. We'll pod. Yep. We'll fucking eat some KFC. Yeah. Or maybe Popeyes because apparently the KFC here is horrible. I wouldn't recommend it, but if you wanted to give it a shot. Yeah. Well, next time you come to Madison, you know, we got it. We got to go to. Have you heard of Zippy Lube? No. It's a restaurant. Zippy Lube? Yeah. Is it like Quaker Steak and Lube? Well, it's the same because it's, it, it's housed in like an old, like mechanic play, but it's a restaurant but like gotcha. that's the gimmick it's like a, yeah it's the same gimmick it's like a jiffy it's a take on jiffy lube or whatever right but they have a and now just now i posted on instagram they're serving until 1 p.m now mm. they have a breakfast sandwich that's a donut cut in half with like the breakfast sandwich stuff Whoa. in between it it's awesome dude is it yeah damn i'd try it yeah so next time you're in madison we get we should go there let's do it they also have some fried chicken sandwiches but i don't really care about that Dude, I'd love to try the breakfast sandwich. And I'm not kidding. We should do one of these live from a China buffet. We, should, we definitely I'm not should. even kidding. We got to get some lavalier mics, dude. Yeah, let's do We it. should just start doing them in public just in general. Yeah. Maybe that'll be that'll be our angle. That'll be our shtick. We just don't even... Not only do we have nothing to talk about, but we don't even like actually sit down to podcast. We just are podcasting. That's actually a great idea. We just are podcasting. Let's do it. We should just hang out for like a day and just record everything, and then we'll cut it into an hour yeah. episode. Or just cut each hour. There we go. That's even yeah. better. That's even better. This is hour one, yeah. episode seven. It's even better. <laughs> we can't be walking, though, because then we'll be breathing too much, and I hate... <laughs> yeah, I hate fucking... You know what I like about movies? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel like I'm breathing too much already. That's why I don't like having the headphones in, because all I hear is... <sighs> Uh, oh, that microphone smelled weird, dude. What's it smell like? Microphone. Mm. What's the rest of your week look like, dude? Well. Slammed with work? Yeah, I am slammed with work. I got to start working on, I guess I could probably say that I don't, I won't mention the the title specifically, but I'm working on a new booklet for a Saturn's Core audio nice. video release. Nice. I've been doing page. He's famous page layout i've been doing page layout for saturn's core um, for the booklets that come with the blu-rays so hell yeah i'm very excited about this release and uh he's got some very cool and interesting stuff he's delving into different worlds i'll just say that whoa not just the horror yeah backyard stuff he's doing some more i don't want to give anything away but he's, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's going into some interesting world all still sov but that's awesome yeah that's badass. Yeah. So I got to start actually doing that in my free time <laughs> when I'm not doing my day job. Yeah, you should start doing that, dude. Yeah. I'll be laying that out. And then uh, what else we got going? You just released a new episode of The Strange yeah. Show. I don't know when this episode will be out. So honestly, by the time this one's out, you'll probably have released another Six one. Six weeks ago, <laughs> I released an episode but, of The Strange Show. But that's cool. Yeah, it thank was a good you. Ep. Yeah, I put a lot of effort... I. The amount of time I put into putting together an 11 minute show is yeah, yeah. probably concerning to some, but I have so much fun doing it. Well, you do care. a lot of, you do a lot of like post and editing types. It's not like you're straight up sitting there right. for 11 minutes. You do a lot of uh, yeah post stuff. So it makes sense. 
but I have so much damn fun doing it, and uh, I'm glad the few or like whoever has seen it has seemed to react pretty well to it. But it was kind of an experimental episode, so I'm happy that it went okay. Good stuff. You got plans for new ones, or are you just gonna wing it as at this point? I'd like to do another interview. Yeah, yeah. You got any people in mind, or you just? I had a couple people in mind. Actually, the reason I I ended up interviewing a pile of dirty rags was because <laughs> I could. Uh, multiple people backed out on me, yeah. and then I had this idea. I was like, I did an episode with God, who's the best possible guest. I was like, yeah. who, who would be the worst possible guest? And a dirty pile of rags. That's, that's not bad. That's yeah, not bad. I mean, I could have done like a pile of shit or something, yeah, but I think too. it's a little too. Yeah. On the nose. Let's I was going to say me again. That would be the worst possible. Guess. <laughs> <laughs> a repeat of David Dawson <laughs> yeah. or a dirty pile of rags. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. One of these days when you collect enough uh, DVD clips again, we, we should do a sequel to that, oh. uh, that episode. I got plenty in the chamber. Let's go, dude. Yeah. But we'll, we'll do another DVD one for sure. DVD disc hole. Mm-hmm. Disc hole, baby. That's, I was wishing to God your middle net name started with a V. So I could put David yeah. V. Dawson. We could have just you could have just te- simply texted me and said, "Say that your middle name is something." All right, let's cut this part. <laughs> David's middle name is starts with a V. David Viagra Dawson. David Vincent. That's that's nice. I like that. David Vincent. That Dawson. sounds classy. Yeah, that's actually nice, dude. Yeah, that's very nice. What's... David Valhalla <laughs> Dawson. Um, what's the rest of your week look like? Um, I got a fin. I'm working on this music video that somebody hired me to make. Oh yeah, yeah. I got to finish that. Um, it's not that exciting. I mean, it's coming out good, but it's it's you know, I hate music videos for the most part. Really? But you should hire me to make them for sure. But <laughs> I just don't like when I don't like performance music videos. It's like, mm. how many times do we need to see your band playing a song fake fakely? Yeah, it's just. Whatever. You don't come up with creative ideas. Well, they just want to... it. They just didn't. I mean, I could have, but they. Yeah. They said I want to be playing in a room and then some stuff of us hanging out. So okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Deal. Yeah. Um. So I'm finishing up that. I got some other work stuff to do, and then next weekend we're hopefully finishing up shooting the new feature. Sick. Leech. It's called. Nice. Wait. It's called Leech? Yeah. That's the new title for your most recent movie? Yeah. What happened to the Dark Lord of... That's that's the name of the character. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's the name of the character. The name of the movie is Leech. I like so, that. At, at this point, at least. I tend to like change, one word I do too. titles in movies. I always try to go that route, but sometimes it just doesn't fucking work out. Yeah. Like I like Flesh Games because it's like the dumbest title of all time, but that's what <laughs> they would have... Yeah. It's like an in-world title. It's like yeah. what they called their show or whatever. Exactly. It's what a bunch of dumb guys yeah, who were... Exactly. Are... Like, I would not want to call my movie Flesh Games. Right. But they wanted to call... The characters wanted to call their show Flesh Games. So. That's weirdly kind of smart. Yeah, dude. Damn. You know, I'm pretty heady, dude. Bro. And then Bone Barrel, again, that name just came to me. Well, it came to me because of Bone. I don't know if we talked about it on this podcast. I've talked about it in other interviews about Bone Barrel. Mm-hmm. But bone, uh, a Bone Barrel is a thing, like in a deli. It's in a barrel. A deli? It's like a barrel that they put the bones from the meat in. Oh, really? And I found that out because Mike, who's in a lot of my movies, is like the main guy in Flesh Games, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. He moved to Missouri to get some job. And in the meantime, he had to get a job at Walmart. Mm-hmm. just to like pay rent or whatever and he said he helped out at the deli this is while i was writing bone barrel i had no title for it and he was like yeah i was helping out in the deli and they have this thing called the bone barrel and it just clicked for me and i was nice. like damn dude oh wow so but yeah other than i mean i like fire firework is the name of one of my movies i like uh i like one one word titles just nice to the point you have a movie called uh two guys in the woods two guys in the woods yeah yeah that's you know what's title. funny is I like one word titles, but this would actually only be my. If Leech. Shut up! Fucking crotch rocket ass motherfucker. Loud sport motorcycle bike, just went shit. by. If Leech ends up being the title for this movie, this would be my second movie that has one word nice. <laughs> title. I always strive for the one word, but it just doesn't work it's tough. a lot of times. Yeah. 
because a lot of one word and even leech i was a little bit i was because i know there's multiple movies called like the leech mm. but i was like i'll just do leech i don't care yeah Who cares dude right on i'm looking forward to seeing it so that yeah that'll be coming up soon probably cool um, and then yeah the week after that i think i'll be unless i pass away i'll be heading to uh san francisco i think that's right for that screening of flesh games followed so by trash humpers trash humpers trash humpers so hopefully that all works out hopefully i don't hopefully i have just enough money to break even otherwise i will pass away but uh i hope you don't expire before you get to go to san francisco or i'd, I'd, ho- I'd like san francisco to be your last hurrah yeah if you are going to expire i just don't want to be stuck in san francisco that would suck That'd be horrible I heard that it is chaos there. <laughs> yeah, I don't want any part of that, dude. <laughs> I don't want any fucking part of that. So if you're in San Francisco, you should buy exactly 20 VHS tapes for me. Mm-hmm. And then I'll give him half of the money. But then it'll help me get home. Yep. So help yeah. Him, help him get home. If That's, even one person from San Francisco is listening to this. If even one motherfucker. If even one person at all is listening to that this. That would help. That would be helpful. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's it. I think we just we just reached an hour in one minute right now. Wow, we really went out with a bang. We really did it this time, dude. <laughs> this might be the one, dude. All right, all right. Well, goodbye. <laughs>